before I commence with my welcome this evening, I feel that it would be a fitting to mention that Israel is again experiencing yet another wave of terror. On behalf of the Jewish National Fund of Western Australia, we would like to express to the Prime Minister of Israel, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, to his cabinet, to the Israeli Defence Force, to all Israeli citizens. It is abhorrence for this disgusting and despicable act of terror that has been taking place across the land of our beautiful Israel. It is completely and totally unacceptable with what is happening in Israel at the moment. We will support you through thick and thin. You have our unconditional love and support at all times. As we are all aware, Israel is a democratic society and is the epitome of what democracy should be like in the world. Not only does Israel protect its own borders, but it protects democracy across the entire Western world. Any country that advocates democracy and practices democracy should unquestionably, I repeat, should unquestionably be in support of Israel at all times. We call upon our rabbis, our priests, our ministers to pray for, please God, peace and prosperity in the Middle East and quite frankly in the entire world. I would just like to mention that we also call upon our presidents of the world, our prime ministers of the world, our parliamentarians, our politicians to come forward and to support the state of Israel at all times. As as the President of the United States of America always says, God bless America. Well, as the President of the Jewish National Fund of Western Australia, I will say it and I will say it again. God bless the State of Israel. God bless Australia. God bless every democratic country in support of beautiful Israel. Thank you for all your support and may Israel prevail stronger and more determined than ever before. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to welcome our distinguished guests Rabonim, the Honourable Peter Katsambanis, MLC, North Metropolitan Region, and Carolee Katsambanis. Mr. Peter Abbotts, MLA, Member of Southern River, and Mrs. Jenny Abbotts. Dr. Graham Jacobs, MLA, Member for Hire, and Mrs. Catherine Jacobs, Mr. Ian Britzer, MLA, member for Morley, and Mrs. Penny Britzer. Mrs. Glennis Godfrey, MLA, member of Belmont, and Miss Daniela Niv. Mr. Harry Hoffman, OAM, PhD, and Mrs. Sylvia Hoffman. Our keynote speaker, Mrs. Judy Feldkar, and Donald Carr. Mr. Peter Smaller, JNF National President. Mr. Dan Springer, the JNF Chief Executive. 
and Mr. David Denver, President of the Jewish Community Council of Western Australia. As you all know, my name is Hilton Rotkin, and I am the State President of the Jewish National Fund of Western Australia. As most of you are aware, the Jewish National Fund is the environmental arm of the Jewish people. Our experience and expertise in apostation and management of arid land and conservation of natural resources and water management is shared worldwide. In recent years, the JNF nationally has been, has been pursuing key projects in Israel's south, including providing environmental qualities and sustainability for border communities. Last year, for the first time in many years, the JNF's West Australian Division decided to partner with the All Movement, a non-profitable organisation dedicated to turning the Negev and the Galilee regions into attractive places to live. JNFWA adopted the All Movement's most isolated community, Merhevan, situated in the middle of the Negev Desert. The people of Merhevan have been working tirelessly to build their community and strengthen Israel's south. The generous support received at JNFWA's event last year has enabled the start of development of their outdoor areas and green spaces as part of a three-year commitment. Friendships have developed from visits to their community in the Negev by supporters from Western Australia. Our continued partnership and support will ensure that Mehev Am's children have safe places to play and its families can look forward to a sustainable future. Later tonight, we will welcome back Alison Spicer, a resident of Merkev Am, who will report on the progress and the growth of their community over the past year. Before that, however, it gives me great pleasure to ask JNF's Chief Executive, Mr. Dan Springer, to introduce our very special guest of honour and keynote speaker, Judith Belcar. 